Hi folks, this is all the fruit. While hiking through the mountains of the island of La Gomera, I discovered this incredible cave house here. And before we look into this cave house, which I promise you is spectacular on the inside, first let's think, why did those people live up here? Look, they're just ravens and buzzards up here in those high cliffs. No human habitation for miles and miles. Only on the coast you can see the, the golf course, <laughs> which I would prefer not to see. But why did those people live here, up in the mountains, in those, in those uh, high cliffs? Well, actually, in previous centuries, this was not in the middle of nowhere. Here we have the Camino Real, or the King's Road, which is basically a donkey trail going from the village to Hermigua to the south of La Gomera. And here we are looking down quite a big valley. I think it's the valley of the, the Barranco de Castradores, or the valley of the Castrators. And on the slopes you see a lot of terraces. And on those higher slopes, if you could look from above, you would see even more terraces. Actually, this slope here has, you cannot see them from here, but it has 1,000 terraces, one above the other. What were those terraces used for? Well, they used them for cacti, grains, and also for wine growing. The cacti down there have died because this is such a scorching desert that even desert plants like cacti and agave die down there without care. Up here at about 800 meters in the elevation, or like 2,000, what would this be, 2,600 feet, they can survive. Well, what were the cacti used for? Here you have the culprit, the cochineal louse, which was used to dye everything from foods to clothes. What were the agave used for? Well, for fibers and for drinking. By the way, we had a couple years of quite hard drought, so you can see how the goats and sheep have eaten down a lot of the cactus plants. But still, why did they have this house right here? Well, I think in this case the palm trees are the key. You can see palm trees down there and I'm sure before the drought of the last couple of years there were even more. Let's walk a little bit along this royal road. By the way, all the, uh, about 150 years ago, all the Canary Islands from, from the coast down to over a thousand, uh, up to over a thousand meters were covered with those cacti in order to cultivate the cochineal lice. Oh, here we have actually a couple quite impressive Opancha ficus indica cacti. Look at this here. Quite a tree-like specimen. Or look at this here, well over three meters tall. That's not so common. Impressive. Cacti also of quite decent size. Here a pink peppercorn tree, which was probably planted for the shade. Let's walk a little bit further on this royal road. Uh. I can show you in places it was paved. Well, not where it's running over the bare rock. But here, for example, this road was paved in this part. Over there, it was cut into the rock, as you can see, so that the people can walk up and down on this. This is no concrete. This is natural. This is the natural cliff. Fortunately, only this one lockwood tree survived from the orchard. Oh, maybe somewhere down there where I can, I cannot see them. There are a couple. There are a couple figs and almonds. Strange, not 
carabs. I haven't seen old ancient carabs on, on La Gomera, on Tenerife. There are lots of big and impressive carabs. But as I said, I, I think neither the Lockwood nor the cacti or the agave are the key to this house up there. Well, two facts are quite important here. First, we are along this road. And second, there are the palms everywhere. What were those palms used for? They are the canary date palm. The dates are not really valuable. Goats would eat them. Desperate people would also eat them. But basically the fruit are not important in those dates. Well, lots of terraces around here, but those are quite far away. So probably those were not the key to why this house is right here. But what would you do from the palms? Well, you would cut the big butt on top and in a night you can basically harvest about 20 liters of palm sap from one single palm. Then you ferment it and when you live along such a highway you can sell it to weary travelers and actually over the centuries travelers have complained that basically every house in La Gomera is a palm sap pub that those that this palm wine tastes horrible and that people behave horrible after drinking it. So I think those palm trees are the key to why this cave dwelling is right here, so far away from the big agricultural terraces. Let's see if this is true. Let's go and check out this farm. Or this house. They certainly did some farming, especially of palm trees. Ooh, nice little bridge here. I don't know why there is a tunnel here under this trail. Then there is another trail and then there is some sort of cave. Lots of caves here and also lots of little houses. Here are a couple ones. A big room with a concrete floor, just one cupboard, nothing else. Well, I guess this could have been the this could have been the pub where they used to drink the palm the palm juice, the fermented palm juice. There are also walls in upper parts of this uh, of this cave dwelling, but I don't dare go there. I don't know what they put in this in this niche here. It's clearly chiseled out. It's not natural. This here was the oven where they would bake bread or lamps or other things. Here you have a lot of troughs. I don't know what they were used for. Did they get the animals up here? I think more probably this was the area where they would make the, uh, where they would ferment the palm juice. Because there's no need to get the animals up here on this terrace. Look at those beautiful troughs. They are chiseled out of lava rock and actually quite beautiful. One, two, and then three, a small one. And here, look at that. Another basically bowl made out of stone on a on a pedestal on a pillar made out of stone and here the same thing i've never seen anything like this before actually this one i'm not even sure if it's made of terracotta or if it's just glazed with some sort of terracotta or concrete but again a giant massive bowl look at those thick walls here they're like almost six centimeters thick on the stone pedestal i hope that we never get any vandals here who will throw down those giant balls and break them can you imagine how long it takes to make such a giant ball out of lava rock and then an idiot comes and throws it down well there is a hole i take thing a barbecue grill what have we got here The beams are made from 
pine wood and then under the tiles they have those they have those um, palm leaves and everything is very smoky so I guess every, something has been prepared here here we have here we have a hollowed out palm stem or half of it uh, maybe the other part has been burned what is this arrangement of pipes huh. well maybe this is where the moonshine was made maybe this is where they produced the produced the more concentrated stuff the 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 date palm sap um brandy well here's some sort of container more beams well here it it seems to be like some sort of kitchen and some idiot is burning oh god some idiot is burning the the industrial or the culinary heritage of this island look some idiot is actually making fire from those priceless relics i guess that's where the rest of this beautifully hollowed out stem has gone let's look into the other rooms yeah a mattress Oh, here somebody made some home improvement in the 20th century with with old concrete sacks. An old table. Oh, bowls and bottles. Nice, nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Here again, a hollowed out palm tree. I don't know what it was used for. This has no bottom. Did it have a bottom earlier on or did it lack one bottom? But it's so beautiful how they hollowed out those palm trees. I'm glad that nobody has stolen more of those relics or burned down the whole place. You just need one idiot to destroy such a place. A chair. What's in here? <laughs> Another mattress. the window from the inside beautiful especially all those impressive stone relics i can really imagine how they used all those to store and to ferment the and to ferment the palm the palm sap i really wonder why they are not in the museum yet here it would it just needs just takes one idiot to throw them all down and destroy them. Look at them once more. How beautiful. And everything set in those beautiful cliffs which are protecting the small buildings. Everything set like a half cave dwelling with this incredible view. Can you imagine for centuries those very travelers sitting here and drinking drinking palm wine and palm brandy and leaving their last pesetas here with this beautiful view incredible i've seen